Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen, still on editing a user. We want to now submit. So I'm going to go to my edit user controller and once we submit here, I don't want to do anything so I just tell it to die and here I'll just tell it to show what's in the post variable so I can see what's going on. So now if I press, I put a 2, just want to change my username. So if I click save, this is the information I get. So which is correct, except the passwords are empty, right? Which is cool uh, because then we don't need to change any passwords and we don't need to show any user the password. So instead of just putting the passwords there, we'll leave them empty for security reasons. The user always knows, excuse me, the user always knows their password, so that's fine. But the rest of these things are coming along very well, except image, of course. So back here, uh, let's see how we can deal with this issue of password. Yes, so if password is empty, we should just remove it. Okay, so let me remove these guys here. All right, so row, we don't need to create anymore. We don't need date either, so but let me do this but we only want the admin to be able because people are clever you know they can open up this page and then it says access denied but still they can spoof a post um, you can actually send a post request to a page like this and because the access denied is only on the view side the uh, controller side will still work it will still go through this, etc., etc. So we don't want somebody who is just a user to change their own um, profile to a, an admin. So what we'll do is we're going to check to say if post row is equal to, so let's put a double equal to, if it's equal to admin or supervisor, right? If it's equal to admin, actually supervisor can't edit anything, so that's fine. So if this is equal to admin, we must make sure that uh, we are an admin. So let's put that if statement out there. So if post row is equal to admin, then check to see and say if uh, oath, let's look at oath, the currently, uh, wait, 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 let's use the get in here because it's just the admin right sorry if get row is equal to admin then we we let it go if it's not equal to admin which means i am not an admin then let's degrade this user to to user regardless what they typed uh, as the if, because they are trying to select an admin as a role and they are not admin themselves just downgrade them to user okay so that sets out uh, make sure only admins can make other admins okay so done there and let's come down here Errors, this is all good. Uh, errors, blah, 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 validate. We need to add an ID here so that we know. Let me see here, where does this go? I'm looking at user, the user version. So let me click on user version. It doesn't have a second param here, but it would be advantageous to add it. So say add ID is equal to no. So we'll use this later, but I'll just leave it there. This isn't the user model right just so we can know when we are editing and when we are adding something so there we go comma uh, id so i'm going to use the id didn't i do this in the products thingy oh i did that so that's good okay so now that we all the errors are good uh, password is a good password hash blah 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 and then insert so instead of inserting we're going to update it's as simple as that user update and then oh wait a second 
let's go to the model and see what's going on. The ID and the data, right? Where's the insert? Insert only has one. So what's going on here? So it simply ignores this, right? Anyway, we don't need this part because we changed things. So that part isn't needed. But here we do need an ID, so comma, and then uh, post. And now we only need to hash the password if uh, it exists, right? So here I'm going to say if not empty post password, yeah? So if not empty post password, then do that. Mm -hmm. Now, if, so let me do this, uh, say, let's go here and put an else statement like this. Let me remove that double one. So if the password is empty like this, if it's empty, then unset it. We don't want this anywhere here. So unset the password so that we don't replace that password thingy but if it's uh, not empty then let's hash it and update and then we redirect not to the login but to the admin section slash uh, users right is that where we go here page is equal to admin and tab is equal to users wait how are we what does redirect even do ah right right uh-huh uh-huh okay so admin and then we would need to put an and Wait, how does this go? Admin and tab is equal to users. Okay. Okay, so that's where we re redirect to. Uh, yeah, looks good. Looks good. We just have to deal with the validation because the password is going to refuse. Uh, we can give it a shot and see that in action. So if I click here, it will tell me password is required. Yes. Mm hmm yeah 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 okay so that's not what we want we wanted to know that we are simply bluffing here we are not we are editing so no need to be so serious about the password thingy so let's go to the user validate thing here and where is password password here so it says if empty password password is required okay but then uh, this should only work if if not ID okay so let me duplicate this last part put an opening there if not ID this is the situation but then let's copy these guys again to this other else situation right so if id is present then we have something to something else to do which means now uh, we can allow an empty one so if empty password uh, let's put if not empty here mm -hmm. And then I'll remove this. Password is not required anymore. And I'll remove that. That way we only have... Uh-oh. Doom. There we go. Boom. Okay. So if not empty password, then password is equal to password return. Password is not match. Passwords must be at least eight characters long. Okay, so this works fine. If here I type something and click, it will tell me uh, passwords do not match. Still passwords do not match. 
But then if I leave these guys empty like this, and put a two there, it should save. Okay, as you can see now, it has updated very nicely. And if I hit it, maybe I can add female instead and save. Uh, that didn't work, surprisingly. Edit. Uh, okay, so the reason it didn't work is because in the user model, we don't have gender here. So let's put it there, shall we? So it's being discarded. And what about row? We do have it, so that's good. So let me change that to female and save. Okay, so it has worked. So which means even row would work as well. Uh -huh. So let's edit that back to male and let's remove that too. And let's save. Very nice. So that's how things work. But if we are to add a password there, uh, then it would have to change the password as well. 